Hi everyone, welcome to another video in which we are going to discuss how to find if a given number is odd or even in case of Tosca. So first of all, we'll create a buffer which is going to act as a input. Okay, so maybe I'll write check odd even okay or whatever of your choice you can give the buffer name. Let's say I'm giving it as 5. Now how do we validate if the number is odd or even? Very simple logic. If you divide by 2 and the remainder is 0, that means it is an even number. If the remainder is not 0, it is an odd number. So since this is a condition, I am going to use a conditional statement here. So right click here, select if statement. Okay. Now here in the condition, I want to validate if the remainder is 0 or not 0. So for validating a condition, I can use tbox evaluation standard module. So I will right click, I will search and add test step and I'll search for evaluation. In case you want, you can navigate to modules and drag and drop as well, okay? Now the first thing is, whichever number we are trying to validate, that number we want to, uh, uh, we want to find the remainder by dividing it by two, okay? So, since our number is stored in the buffer check odd and even, as we can see here, I'm going to put that curly brackets B, check odd, even close this now since we are not trying to just divide we are trying to find the remainder now in order to find remainder you have to use modulus operator in case of Tosca as well as a lot of other places uh, as well and I'll mention two here now if I'll click out of it this is going to find the remainder and but as we know that in case of Tosca this since this is a mathematical operation it is not going to work independently so I have to use I have to wrap this up with a math operation. So I'll go at the start, I'll put curly brackets, M-A-T-H square brackets and I'll close the square brackets here with the curly brackets, okay. Let me zoom this so that everyone is able to see, okay. Now this is what we want to, this is what is going to give me remainder of whichever number we are putting here, okay. Now if the number is greater than zero, then it is an odd number. So I have to put that condition because this is an expression which is trying to evaluate something. So let's say I'll write greater than zero. Okay. If that is happening, I'll create a buffer. Okay. And maybe we can write it as result. Okay. And here, since this is greater than zero, it is odd number. Okay. Otherwise, it is an even number. So how to use else statement in case of if you just click on if you right click and you will be able to see this section called create else statement and what i'll do is i'll copy the same buffer i'll put it in the else section and here i'll put it as even number okay now since five is an odd number let's run this and see if this actually works or not okay now our result is getting stored in the result section we can either see that in the scratch book or we can see that in the buffer viewer as well, okay. Now, we'll first see here. See, this has been stored to odd number, okay. Let me just zoom this a bit. You can see it is odd number. Now, you can easily validate by clicking on tools, buffer viewer and here in the result section as well. Let's say for the moment, I'll change this to 8. And let's see this works. This gets updated to even number or not. Now you see this has got updated to even number. Okay. Uh, that concludes the video. Uh, do like, share and subscribe. And I have a lot of other videos uh, on the interview question series. Do check it out. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.